very very good evening to everyone my name is dr amit mummy makeover is the topic for today and it's an amazing topic that we have because it is getting extremely popular worldwide many patients are confused as to what is a mummy makeover what all are the components of mummy makeover how do we recover how long does it take what all should we do how to decide what is to be done so in the next 5 to 10 minutes i am going to discuss great details about the mummy makeover procedure which will really help you take a decision so first what are the components of a mummy makeover it all depends on the patient the usual components are abdominal liposuction along with tummy tuck in some form or the other i'm going to discuss that later second management of the breast it could be breast reduction it could be breast enhancement it could be breast lift it could be breast lift with enhancement third intimate areas we could do a vagina tightening we could do labiaplasty we could do fat injections of the vagina we could do a lot of things and i'm going to discuss during the course of this video how you can select your procedure based on your clinical condition in general a mummy makeover is done to correct all the problems created by the delivery or the birth of a child so a girl a lady becomes a mother but during that process the child causes a lot of changes in your body you if you are seeing this video obviously you are interested because you've seen the changes in your body breast sagging down breast becoming big not that voluptuous high look that you had tummy skin sagging vagina getting loose you know sexual intimacy not creating that great an effect as it used to be once upon a time If these are problems that you face you are sitting at the perfect place because this video is then only and only for you at the end of this video you will be able to clearly define what all are the problems that are present for you and how you can literally select your procedure sitting at home it is not mandatory that you do all the components of a mummy makeover program but you can actually select and discuss with your doctor as to what all you'd like to so let's begin one by one the first topic is the female breast post delivery post birth or post pregnancy when we examine the breast the problems that we see post pregnancy in a mother are the breasts are either small they have lost the volume they have become deflated they are flat on the top and sort of sagging curving downwards or they have really fallen down with loss of volume sometimes they become big much bigger and the end result is you as a patient are not happy with what you have what can we do what can we do to make your breast better if you have a breast which is where it is supposed to be not gone down all you need is a breast implant simple 25 minute procedure do it same evening discharge back home next day office easy peasy as simple as that if you have a breast which is sagging down and the volume is also less you have lost the volume of the breast then you need a lift along with a breast implant a breast implant alone is not sufficient why let me explain that suppose your breast is fallen down here and i put an implant on top you actually have two breast one here and one here unless you lift up the breast and fit it here it doesn't work so what you need is a dual plane technique with internal bra to fix the breast at a particular position along with cleavage fat injection or cleavage creation a third scenario could be that you have sagging but good volume of the breast then all you need in that case is a breast lift surgery as simple as that implants are not really mandatory in such a situation fourth if you have heavy breast then a breast reduction and breast lift is the technique of choice for you it creates great results you can reduce the breast as much as you like right so that defines what all are the procedures of the breast in a mummy makeover and sitting at home now you can look at yourself in the mirror and decide which of these do you need let's move on to the second topic the abdomen if you've got a tight abdomen skin is not loose you want a quicker recovery just do a 360 degree liposuction liposuction all around creation of the hourglass maybe some fat into the buttocks a bbl kind of a procedure 
If you've got very little amount of loose skin, just at the lowest part of the abdomen, you need a 360 degree lipo, shaping, and then you need a mini tummy tuck. The position of the belly button is not changed in this. It just comes down a little bit. We don't need to cut the belly button. Suppose there is more skin looseness, there is muscle weakness, and you look in the mirror and you find your whole lower abdomen skin just like a bag of worms, then you need a full tummy tuck. So do a 360 degree lipo, do a tummy tuck and get a nice flat abdomen. You can even get six packs along with that tummy tuck procedure. Now, it is also possible that you have skin looseness in the lower abdomen, on the sides and even on the back. In that case, you need a belt lipectomy in which we remove skin from the front side and back. So that is the complete procedure in this situation. So now, it makes it very simple for you to look at yourself in the mirror and decide what you want. Recoveries, liposuction takes about a week. A mini tummy tuck a week, a full tummy tuck can take about 10 days and a belt can take about 2 weeks. As simple as that. You can actually be back in office after an abdominoplasty in 12 to 13 days. After a belt, you can be back in office as soon as 20 days or so. Let's move on to the intimate areas. If you have vagina looseness, all we need to do is vagina tightening. Vagina tightening is a great procedure. We tighten all the muscles. We reduce the opening of the vagina. A laser vagina will not work for you. Please note this, it will not work for you. You have to do a surgical vaginoplasty. A surgical vagina type. It takes about 45 minutes, but many times we actually combine it with labia minora repair as well. So, some women have extra labia minora. It just comes out, creates wetness in the undergarments. If you're an athlete, it's a big problem. Sometimes you wear a thin panty, the lips actually come out. Looks very, very embarrassing. So, we do a labiaplasty. We even do a Barbie doll labiaplasty for someone does not want any form of labia at all. Third, we can even do some fat injections around the vagina to give it a very sexy look. If you have been suffering from poor orgasms, you can even do an O-shot and improve the orgasms uh, in your sexual activity. So these, my dear friends, is a combination of these procedures is known as the mummy makeover. On an average, we feel if you're coming in from outside India, you should stay with us for about a week. If you're coming from India, if you're within the country, then maybe four or five days is enough and you can actually go back, rest for some more time and then get back to office. Many of our international patients across the globe, Australia, in UK, have been actually gone back to office as soon as two weeks after a belt lipectomy procedure. So if you plan a procedure, then please make sure to analyze yourself. The way I have explained in this video, analyze your whole body so that you can decide what you want and you can actually work with the plastic surgeon of your choice to plan the whole procedure so that you get the best satisfaction.